Hello, Dollish Liz here. I'm wearing my long wig today. Some people are not a fan of it and some people are, but I personally like it. I love how it, it's long and very pretty wig, so I felt like wearing it for today's video. Um, today we're doing a new box and I'm going over, it looks like I'm going over box dolls, spot dolls that I kept in their boxes. Um, I just picked out the next box that was available and that's what showed up. So let's get started. Um, this is not in its box, so it looks like, okay. This is an old doll from like, uh, I wish her tag was on here. Oh, I think it is. Let me see. Oh, okay, here we go. It is a brook. Sheila doll. This is a Brooke Sheila doll is what it says. My mom had this doll when she was young. Um, she let me have the one that she had but I was very responsible and broke it so I went out and found another one later on uh, when I was an adult so I'm really lucky that I found her but here she is. And then it looks like um, when I was shopping too I got some vintage clothes. So this looks like, it's probably like a wedding dress. And here, here's another little dress. And then this might be a wedding dress too. So that was probably when I went to an antique store to get that. Cause that's usually where I can find that kind of stuff. Sometimes I find that stuff at yard sale, but since it had a name on it, that was most likely at an antique store. So let's start with the first box doll. Let's see. We have Disney Aladdin Princess Jasmine doll. I definitely didn't want to take this doll out of the box because she's very pretty and I love the way the, the box is designed. From what I remember, this is from the Disney store and it also comes with this really pretty tag. So that's this doll. Let's move on to the next. Here we have... Sleeping Beauty 40th anniversary. Um, I think this is it's a Mattel doll. So this is this doll. I'm not sure if you can oh you can open it and look what pops up. It's so cute. So I definitely wouldn't want to take this out of her box because the box is really cute and it's a pretty old doll too, especially celebrating the 40th anniversary. Let's see. Well, oh, so when I got Bratz dolls, I was obsessed with Yasmin. I don't have my original Yasmin. She's destroyed somewhere. Who knows where she is. But I was able, I think I got this on Amazon. I'm not sure. I usually get my stuff off Amazon. If not, I might have got it off. Or maybe I bought this in person. No, I'm pretty sure I got this off Amazon. But here is the original Yasmin. I was able to get her. Um, I was so excited because I was like, yes, I can have her on display again the way she was. And I remember how they used to box these dolls. Like, they were so cute. And here's the artwork. So, if you didn't know what the original brass looked like, this is what they look like. And then... <laughs> nice. It fell. Let me move that. So then, they came out with a new Yasmin later on. Um, I can't remember what year this came out. Let me see if it's on the box. 2015 is when they came out with this. So here's the new Yasmin. So the box is definitely a lot different. Um, there's a lot more detail on it than the other one. There's more pictures of them. I, I prefer the original Yasmin though. That's because it was my childhood. This doll's okay. I kept her in her box just so I can see the difference. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So these dolls I'm about to bring out are actually were taken out of their box, so they're going to be wobbly. Um, but I put them back in their box just as a memory. Um, these dolls were knockoffs off of Munster High. So they are, they are cheap dolls. They're not supposed to be good dolls. But I kept these dolls because I thought they were interesting. They're called Midnight Magic 
and it says, The Midnight Magic Saga begins in the small town of Johnsville in Nowhere, USA. It is June, and a very special event is taking place for four very intelligent, daring young ladies. Audra, Melanie, Katie, and Patty are graduating from grade school and are going to be attending Parkview High School in the fall. The girls have been best friends since kindergarten and are very excited to be graduating and attending high school. Melanie, the leader of the group, suggests that they all take a summer class together in order to start on their, on their studies to get a kiss. It's kind of hard to read. To get a, acclimated to high school classes as quickly as possible. They all have a high aptitude in science, and so they enroll in a chemistry class. It is very unusual for freshmen to be to be taking this type of advanced class, but these the girls tested so well that the instructor decided to make an exception. The instructor of the class is the brilliant but odd Professor Sparks. The girls are very hard workers and volunteer for extra work with the professor for extra credit. The professor is working on a number of different projects and being somewhat absent-minded he leaves one of his experiments in the school laboratory patty the most curious of the four decides to take a sip of the concoction probably saying that wrong concoction that the professor has left out she also convinces audra melanie and katie to take a sip as well the concoction turns out to be a formula that's supposed to make your skin soft and smooth instead the formula transfers transform the girls totally changing their looks and giving each of them one a supernatural power. This transformation takes place every night at midnight, however, it lasts only until dawn. My dad's home. Um, so this is... I don't know which one this is. It doesn't say. Oh, Adele. Adele has always been interested in studying the weather and hopes to become a meteorologist. When she transforms at night, she receives the power to control the weather. So here is Adele. Oh my god, stop! Oh, this is great. Here is Kaylee. Kaylee is the curious, studious girl in the group. At night when she transforms, she becomes super intelligent, able to decipher complex thoughts and ideas with ease. So here's her. Here. It looks like I got two Milas. Why did I do that? Oh, because they're different. It looks like I kept this one in her box because she's not shaking. But this one's shaking because I took her out of her box. I just really liked the boxes and it was so cute how they tried to copy Monster High. And I remember that it was actually a huge craze that everyone got them. And then this is Pippa. So that's those. Um, I remember those. Everyone was pretty interested in them. But they're not really a big deal now. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, you don't even find them anymore, so how would they be a big deal? So, this is a, looks like a Naomi doll, Lori. Um, I must have just randomly bought this doll when I had money, because I usually don't buy these kind of dolls. It says, Welcome to my world. I live in a great big city with lots to do and many places to explore. My friends and I are smart, adventurous, and trendy little girls. We've been told that our best accessory is our smile, and we wear it wherever we go. We love ballet, reading, giggling, and playing with our pets. Come hang out with us. So that's her. Let's see who else I have. Oh, these are cute. Madame, Alexa Madame Alexander Play Travel Friends. Nihayo. I probably said that wrong. That means hello in Chinese. Did you know that China has 13 billion people? The capital city is Beijing. It is very common to have several generations living together. My grandparents live with me. It is so much fun. They tell me wonderful stories and teach me so much. Do your grandparents live with you? Actually, Matthew's grandparents, we live with them. So, yeah. Here's her. Um... What's her name? Did it say her name? It just says China. Neo, Neo China. So this is a China doll. Hey. Um, what's this one? This is Spanish. I know I probably got this when I was studying Spanish. 
Hola, that means hello in Spanish. Did you know that soccer in Mexico is called football? My friends and I play almost every day. We also get together to cook some of our popular dishes like tacos, enchiladas, and tamales. Our favorite drink is hot chocolate with cinnamon. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is rice. It's kind of boring. But that's, that's her. It looks like I saved another brass one in the box. This is Metallic Madness, Chloe and Cameron. It says, Squee, this, dr this dress is like a disco ball you wear, and with the blaze, I'll only shine brighter as we burn up the dance floor. Looks like it came with other dolls too, but I just got this pack, and I am glad I kept them in their box since they're not out anymore. That was pretty smart of me. Oh, Spirit. <laughs> I loved the movie Spirit. I actually watched the cartoon just to see. I wasn't that big of a fan, but I was obsessed with the movie when I was younger. Um, her name is Lucky Prescott. She's adventurous and confident. Lucky finds her footing with the help of her new friends, Prue and Abigail. And she's their spirit. If you watch the movie, there he is. That is not a doll. I do have some random stuff in here because I'm moving. Okay, here's a Native American doll. I mentioned in one of my other videos that I do love Native American history and I love uh, Native American stuff in general. Um, so that's, I, I have some Native American books that teach about different tribes and stuff like that. I'm just very curious about it. I think it's very interesting. Um, so here it says, hello, I'm Native American Barty. Part of proud Indian heritage, rich in culture and tradition, long ago Native Americans each belonged to a tribe, a group of people who shared ancestors and customs. There were many different tribes, each with its own customs and dress. Some of us lived in pueblos, villages, slept in teepees, tents, and sewed clothes from buckskins, which is leather. We made many dishes with maize, which is corn, and were the first to stay dry strips of meat, which made jerky. For fun, children liked to play games of challenge like wrestling and running and rolling hoops and sticks. Native Americans relied on storytelling to bind them together. The eldest tribe member always passed on the ancient folk tales that kept the tribe's traditions alive. I'm wearing a traditional outfit inspired by one of the tribes with Indian artwork and beaded fringe and soft leather moccasins with his boots. Sometimes women wore braids just like mine and men wore fancy feather headdresses. We Native Americans of today still proudly keep alive the ways and wisdom of our ancestors and first Americans. This was made in 1992 and that's when I was born. Yeah, I'm kind of old. <laughs> People are older than me are like, shut up. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, this is from the Nutcracker. The latest Nutcracker that came out in, if it would tell me... It probably will tell me the year on here. 2018. Okay, I didn't get this that long ago. This was when I. This was like the last time I still had money. <laughs> it's 2018 was still when I was still working a full time job, and then after that I had to quit because of him. Um, which I'm not mad. I love him dearly. But this says, Ballerina of the Realms. Inspired by E.T.A. Hoffman's classic tale, The Nutcracker in the Four Realms showcases the wondrous journey of Clara, who finds herself in the mystical world of the Four Realms, home to a host of eccentric characters and no shortage of surprises. Ballerina of the Realms dances with grace and passion at a spectacular pageant created to celebrate Clara's arrival to the Four Realms to elaborate production reveals to Clara the extraordinary story behind the land of snowflakes, land of flowers, land of sweets, and the om ominous fourth realm. She's very pretty. I think my... No, he didn't. I don't know where he went. My son went somewhere. But my dad's here, so that he should be good. Oh, I see him. Okay. And then this is an 1815 Southern Bell doll. It opens up. And here she is. I am not going to read all of that. That is a long time to read and it would take forever. But there is something short on the back I can read. Travel through time with Barbie. This enchanting series takes you on an exciting journey to famous epochs from yesteryear. 
Each numbered volume presents an exquisitely created Barbie doll in the dress, hair, and makeup of the chosen era. There's so much more to see and learn as you collect these very special editions mm -hmm. to display, cherish, and enjoy into the future. And that's her. Um, I definitely kept those in their boxes. I took a lot of Barbies out of their boxes, but I kept those kind in their boxes. Oh, I am a huge Pocahontas fan, which would probably make sense because I like Native Americans. But, um, here is the Pocahontas doll. I will definitely never take her out of her box. She is very pretty. And in fact, um, in another video, I'd like to show you my collector's edition Native, um, Pocahontas doll. And then here we have a 2007 Holiday Barbie. I probably got this from an antique store. It says, Frosty window panes frame our festive Miss Claus and a fabulous pate. The best holiday gifts are at this party. Fun, fashion, lots of love, and the Holiday Barbie ornament. The perfect present for every Barbie lover available from Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments. Okay, so you can get an ornament separately, but I got the doll. But here's the holiday doll. Okay, we're almost done with boxes. And then here we have Legends of Ireland doll. And it says, Proud tradition from the Emerald Isle inspires the fifth doll in the Legends of Ireland collection. On the summer solstice, midsummer eve, the people of Ireland gather for a mysterious and beautiful feast. In honor of Ain torchlight processions roam the green Celtic countryside known as the Fairy Queen of Munster, Ain is the goddess of love. Some say she was born a mortal woman who was taken by the Fae and enchanted. Others believe she gave the meadow sweet its lilting scent, and many still say that she dwells today in a fairy castle on the hill of a knock Ain and country limerick bestowing abundance, prosperity, magic, and love. That's her. I really like red-headed dolls, so that's probably why I got her. Okay, two left. Here is a Winter Moon Pocahontas doll. I love this doll. She's beautiful. It's a journey through the nighttime forest as Pocahontas and her adorable sidekick, Nico, walk in the shivering glow of the magical moonlight. Pocahontas is lovely in, her, lovely in her exquisite white suede, Native American dress trimmed in fox fur at the neckline and hem. An ornate ribbon decorated in various shades of blue cascades down the front of her fringe dress. Her magnific magnificent long hair is held back with a blue and white feather headband and she wears white moccasins trimmed in blue. Miko is warm and cozy and is coordinating winter wear as he accompanies Pocahontas as on her evening stroll. Oh yes, there he is. He's so cute. And last one is a midnight moon princess it says she is the ruler of the glowing moon she floats across the sleeping world guiding through the earth's journey towards a new day and lights the path for all the night creatures at play look for her when the night is at its peak and she will give you the inspiration you seek cute okay the only thing i have left is i bought a paper doll just because i wanted to have one let me take her out. So here's her with her clothes. So that's it on the box dolls and I'll get more um, in the next video. Thank you for watching.